Hey guys, our Chronics here. So, just want to show you what we got here. We got a bunch of piles of all of our wall panels from Thermosteel. Uh, we got a mixture of seven and a half inch for the roof and five and a half inch for the walls. So there's some five and a half inch there, seven and a half inch here, and they're basically 16 inch on center studs with uh, polystyrene in the middle. The roof panels have high density and the walls just have normal density. Um, you can see up there they have like beam pockets already cut into them and reinforcing steel already set to go. And we had to move all of these off the truck, there's 103 of them, it's quite the task. Uh, we're just finishing up putting the subfloor down. We got all of the joists and the supports in there. Got some supporting blocks put in there as well. So yeah, it's coming along nicely. This goes out to the end here, right? Yep, all the way across. So there's a lot more panels up here now. As you can see, we're just stacking them in piles based on how they'll get assembled. So you have uh, walls that are, are um, categorized by letters, and you get all the pieces to those. And then after that, um, you go just by the number. And there's a sheet that uh, lays out how all these are supposed to be fastened together and all that. So yeah, we got quite a few of them up here at the moment. And I'm just finishing up putting down this last little bit of track, um, which we're putting great stuff underneath just as a, a sealant. And meanwhile, they're bringing more panels over. So this is about uh, three hours worth of putting up the thermosteel panels that were all over the front yard before. And we've got quite a bit of them. They're not all um, done getting screwed or anything yet. They're just enough to, to get the basic uh, frame in place. And then we'll go through We'll sit, stand on scaffolds and stuff to get all the um, screws in on the outside plates and all that soon. Probably not today. Uh, you can see a little bit of top track going on there. So, yeah, these are all the uh, window openings. Some of them are actually pretty huge, which is kind of funny. Um, we're just doing some uh, lunch break now, but uh, let me walk around this side so you can see in. And that's the inside. You can see, I don't know if you can see, yeah, okay, on this piece up here, you can see that there's a, a beam pocket that's already cut in. So all these already have their headers and everything. You can see these big headers and everything's already in there. And we'll just keep going and then secure them more and more and keep using up more and more panels. I'm on the A6000 filming now and I just want to show you the end of day progress, what we got. Uh, there's still a lot of bracing holding everything together, but we got some of the scaffold inside and we're going to start building up the second row in a few days. Uh, we'll just take you around the whole house right now. This is the dressing room window and behind the inside here is the walk-in closet eventually. Um, and then over here will be the master bedroom and then the bathroom will be right next to the walk-in closet over there. So. That's that side. Over here we got quite a few openings. Two windows in the uh, master bedroom. Really big egress windows. Uh, a small one for over the kitchen sink. And then one where the uh, sliding glass door will be to the outside. We got all this done. And we got on this side <laughs> a big um, a side by side set of three foot wide windows by five and a half foot tall. So those are pretty good size. And that's the uh, the extruded gable, which will have three beams. Two of them are the pockets are right up already. We got some more pieces to go in there. And there's the front door area where there'll be a front door with a side light. And yeah, so it's coming along pretty good. Oh, and we got this, uh, you probably can't see it too well. Let's see if I can climb onto this dirt. 
This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> There's an interior wall there that's actually going to be uh, holding all the, the ridge beams that go across the main portion of the house. So we got that wall up too. And all this is just kind of, you know, for layout and some basic bracing and all this stuff. Just to make sure that nothing too terrible happens before we can uh, lock everything down and get the beams on the roof. So that's all I got for you now. As always, thanks for watching. See ya! You can't really see it too well, but tonight is actually a super moon. You can see it off in the distance there. I'll see if I can zoom in. I don't have that much zoom. It's a pretty good sized moon. <laughs> wow, yeah. You really can't see it, but it's, it's, uh, you can't see it well on camera, but it's pretty huge.